Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Test Trigger video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about API testing in Test Trigger. All right, so let's get started. API testing in Test Trigger is very, very easier. And if you could go all the way to the API testing section of Test Trigger's documentation, you will see that there are so many details available on the API testing. Something like you can just call an API using its uh, URL and the syntax is super easy as well, like call, API, and the type. So type can be like get, post, put, patch, head, delete options or trace. So you can put the type here and then you need to specify the URL of the API that you are testing. And if you want to test the URL by passing the parameter with header or with a body or with a JSON path or JSON body, and you need to save the result in a variable and then verify that you could do all these things using the test triggers API testing feature. And if you have a body which is very big and if you really wanted to make that body to be available pretty much like a JSON format, you could also use some of the delimiters that they have got something like these, like end and end, you can just specify that. And then it just, you can see that, you can just put a JSON value straight away over here as a body and then you can pass in and then you can work with that. So all these things are gonna be pretty straightforward in test trigger, it's very, very easy to test using test trigger. So we'll see how we can do this API testing in test trigger in this particular video. The application that we are going to be testing this time is going to be the my JSON server. It's a fake JSON server. And if you hit this try a server, you will see that there are some options available like post, comments, profiles, and DB. And if you go to the post, you will see that it's going to show you three posts here. And if you just go and search for one, like it's going to show you the first post. And if you put two, something like that, it's going to show you the second post, something like that. And similarly, you can also do some sort of post operation to the posts. For example, if you want to create a new post, uh, you can do a post operation as well, something like this. So for example, if I have a title EA5, uh, something like that, and if I send it, you will see that it's creating an ID as four. And similarly, if I wanted to do something like a Karthik like title, uh, it is going to create a Karthik title and the ID is always going to be four because the persistent storage is not there on the fake JSON server. That's how the fake JSON server works. But at least you can see that you could do some sort of API testing using these fake JSON servers. All right. So in order to automate this, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to say fake JSON uh, server test. I'm going to create a new suite and the URL that I'm going to be pasting in is going to be this particular URL uh, like that. And then I'm not going to generate any of the test and I'm going to click this create new test case. That's it. And once again, we are going to be start using the manual test creation because that's what is going to be easier with test trigger once again. So I'm going to say API testing and over here, I'm just going to perform the operation that I was talking about. Again, the operations are going to be quite simple and straightforward as I told you before. All you're going to do is you're going to write something like this, call API and probably I'm going to do a get operation this time uh, where I'm probably going to say that if I try getting the post, let's say one, which is this one, and I want to verify if the title has got post one in it, something like this. So this is my scenario that I wanted to automate this time. So in order to do that, I'm just going to copy paste this particular URL over here. And I'm going to say, and get the title. So if you want to expand this, you can also do something like this. I mean, it's more typeable and readable as well. While your steps is big, longer than expected. And then you can do something like dollar of title and save it as probably title. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to get this particular API using the get operation. And then I'm also going to get its title, which is going to be returning for us, which is going to be this particular title. And you can see that I'm using a dollar dot title so that this is how the, the JSON object will be traversed. And then I'm going to be saving it to the title. And now I need to check the stored value, which is nothing but the title. If you remember, this is something we already discussed during the test data in test trigger. That's exactly the same idea it is, which I'm going to be using here using stored value. And I'm going to say itself contains probably uh, the title is going to be, I think it's type post one. There we go. Oops. 
host one there we go and i'm just going to hit add and run the test that's it this is the super simple test that i'm going to do i'm going to perform a get operation and then i'm going to get the value out from it and then i wanted to verify if that particular api is returning me the value as post one so you can see that the test has started executing and in fact the test has also got passed over here you can see that it is working fine as expected so the title is post one which is cool so now you might be wondering like ah this is a simple operation and how can i do the post operation for example so if i want to do the post operation the operations is once again very very simple all i'm going to do is i'm going to do pretty much exactly the same kind of thing for the post operation as well where i'm going to say call api and i'm going to just give the type as post and i need to use this particular url which is going to be the same url over here and you can even remove the double quotes if you really wanted to it doesn't matter to give a double quotes there but i'm just giving it for the readability purpose and i'm gonna say and body where the body i need to pass like a title over here and because this is going to be the text i need to use the delimiter if not it's not going to work so i'm just gonna give the delimiter something like this let me just expand it once again yeah this one ea4 and get the title and probably save it uh instead of title let's say because the title is going to be always the value that we are passing in i'm going to get the id which is going to be dynamically generated for me which is nothing but i think it's four i guess and then i need to check if that particular stored value is actually for something like this that's it this is what i'm going to be verifying so i'm going to perform a get operation over here and then i'm going to perform a post operation all right so now let's update and rerun the test and you can see that it is showing me a message saying that the title which i have got over here actually has got a problem something like two gets over here i'm sorry for that let me just remove that and i uh, get i think that is a problem let me update and retest there we go so you can see that the test trigger knows that what i'm typing and it also detects pretty quickly like a syntax error that i give within my scenarios like steps it is also detecting that on the fly and telling me that it is wrong which is cool and now you can see that the test has actually got passed over here for us so you can see that this is okay this time which is awesome but let's try to make this test to fail so that we can understand if this api testing is really happening or not so let's say if i want to return uh, check that the value is actually returned as five instead of four so i'm just gonna update that and rerun the test so this time i'm expecting the test the last step of this particular test to fail and you can see that the test has got failed here and if i click the more details and show the error info it sees it shows that four is supposed to contain five but doesn't because there is no such value like five yeah so the test is failing this is how we can do the api testing in test trigger much much easier and we can ensure that the tests are passing without any problem once again thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day